Lift. The Shadow Patrol. Hey, what's up, everybody? This good time we are rolling here. Oh, my gosh. It what? is <laughs> Jeff and Melinda Live, weekdays at 10, Saturdays now and then. We are rolling today. We're on the road because we have yes, to we get are. Melinda's really cool horse to uh, it's uh, athletic trainer Good doctor. Good morning. Hey, Paul. Okay. What's going on? You're passing the gas station. No, I'm pulling okay. over to this one. We're going to the new one. Oh, my gosh. We are like... I got 13 miles to empty. I, I no. timed it just right. No, 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 no. Just right. 13 miles to empty. You notice the window's open? Because he's trying not to sweat. I'm trying not to sweat because I, I thought we were going to run out of fuel for sure. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, hi Catherine, you found it. Pastor Dan, plumbing. <coughs> oh my gosh, you gotta pull over. What's babe. everybody I'm doing this morning? This. We're doing good, we're cruising along here. Everybody's doing good, I know that. Uh, yeah, we're praying that my horse is not yeah. injured. Yeah. In Jesus name. Okay, so. Yeah. We're on the road. What do you got? He's gonna get out. I'm not getting out. I got gloves. I won't get out until we're done here. I know, but I gotta. We got a face mask. Babe, I got a pink one for you. I know, we're in a pink one. Yes, you gave me no, a brown you, one yesterday. It it's doesn't over fit. Here. We have to change it. What do you mean? And then we got hand sanitizer. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you got to hold this though because I can't. Your arm is hurting? Okay. No, your arm's longer. I can't All right, okay. we're at the fueling station now. That's a good thing. Okay, listen. We made it. You, oh, oh, guess what, everybody? We got into the truck. And hey... What vet? Um, Ber Bergevin? Bergevin. Okay. Jim Bergevin. Yeah. Yep. He's the best. He's the best. That yep. we know of. Okay. So, <laughs> so we got in the truck and Jeff had just gone to the office. So, hey, look what I found in the truck. A free shirt. The shirt. The shirt. Burn the shirt. We're throwing that away. All right. Okay. So, you're going to be really jelly. I don't know if anybody's seen this anymore. What What do you got? We got a phone book. Did you know they still existed? And it just ended up like it was in our driveway. They just threw it in the driveway? No, for reals. People are like... Yeah. Perdroda Sanjay. Okay, I don't know who that is. Okay, that's his last name, Perdroda. Lives on West Davis. Okay, they actually have their legit address in here still. I think they still have phone books everywhere, honey. Maybe not in the metro area, but... Hey, I read a fantastic quote yesterday. I know, it's the first one I got um, years. Pastor that I follow out of the UK. His name's Paul Scanlon. Incredible, incredible communicator. He, uh, he had this quote, and I thought, my gosh, if this doesn't apply... Ooh. To times like these, I don't know what it is. He said, yeah. you can either break your alabaster jar and protect it. But you can't protect it and have what only happens when you break it. Wait, read that again. So the woman with the alabaster jar, she breaks the jar of perfume and she pours it all over Jesus' feet. Right. Hi, Jess. What's up, Decker? Yes. Decker's the most famous three month old on this show. I want you to know that. Yes, and you FaceTime with the, him, the woman the woman brings the perfume to Jesus' feet. Right. Okay. Okay. He writes, you can either break your alabaster jar. Because okay. You can either break your alabaster jar or protect it. But you can't protect it and have Ooh. what happens only when you break it. Wow. Man, I thought, is that incredible? So that was her form of worship. Yeah. Honor. Like, right, right. Wow. So, so such a powerful, um, such a powerful. Uh, I, 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 cool. I, I saw this other one too yesterday. I saw this, uh, <clears throat> this Jewish prayer. When I feel weak, teach me I am strong. What, what that are you really doing to me? You. When I am shattered, assure me I can heal. When I'm weary, renew my spirit. When I'm lost, show me you are near. That is a good one. Hey, times like these, we got a lot of stuff going on, don't we? Woo. Man. Yeah. A lot of conversations. A lot of, uh, I was on the phone yesterday just doing some calls to a lot of different people. And, and uh, man, you guys are all soldiering up out there. I'm telling you. Um, I. I yeah. get it. There's some uncertainty and all that yeah. stuff, but man, the people that I'm talking it? to more and more and more, babe, 
Um, they just are in it to win it. They got a lot of resolve. Uh, everybody's redeeming the time. Man, it's Saturday, so man, take the time to do something for yourself today. Do something for yourself. Especially all you teachers out there. Oh, come on now. All the moms and dads we that are out there our teaching. Zooms. Oh, 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 yeah. Teacher of the month. Teacher of the year. <laughs> okay, Daisy. I'm sorry. I was thinking about Daisy. She and Mary both came to the office yesterday. They showed up, yeah. picked up mailers, and they were stuffing envelopes That's all awesome. night. Now we're doing a big mailer here this next week. And, wow. Just want to love you, on y'all, man. Just, just you. want you to Daddy, know that, Beth. that we're thinking about everybody at the church. We're thinking about everybody all the time, praying for you, all that stuff. Hey, yeah. um, I'm a good friend. He had a, a devotional yesterday, and I thought, man, I just, I just, you know the story of um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, yeah. in Daniel you have these three brothers and you know they won't bow down and worship the god of nebuchadnezzar and and anyway they get thrown in the fire and they look in there and there's not three in the fire there's four in the fire y'all remember that um you know the yeah, i remember the felt board when i was little and then they just stick the little figures up on there and teach you the little bible story she's such a good children's church kid so <laughs> such a good I didn't go to children's church. Cho oh, Rose is going to have lots of chocolate today. Wow. Yeah. That seems nice. Hi, Shelly Johnson from <laughs> Montana. Good thing I didn't cough What's outside. up, Wayne and Kathy? You'd be freaking out. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the, um, the, the whole, uh, the, the inspiring part of that story is, is that they go through the trial. Jesus is with them in the fiery trial. Yeah. But when they come out, do you remember they didn't even smell like what? They didn't even smell smoke. like, hey, April, what's Holy. going on, lady? They didn't even smell like smoke. Hi, April. And Jeez. I started thinking about that story Here's yesterday. And I thought, you know, trials. And they didn't smell like smoke. Yeah, trials, especially fiery trials, they're meant to, you know, like, like you know how people burn the grass in their ditches? I don't know why they do that, but, you know, they... They go out there and they burn their field or whatever to get rid of the, the non-productive whatever, whatever. whatever Allow the fiery trials of life to burn away the stuff that needs to change. Yeah. But you can go through this and go through the trials and you don't have to come out the other side smelling like smoke. That's what I'm trying to say. That's good. That's what I'm trying to say. That's good. You know, I was... Hi, I was, Gail. How are you? So good to see you. I was listening to um, podcasts a couple days ago and she was talking about breaking habits and forming new habits and she said you know it's not sometimes it's not about breaking a habit or changing a habit sometimes it's just about your next decision mm. and I thought man that's so cool because you know 21 days or 27 days to break a habit and do this great thing and why don't we just 37 days of quarantine 4,976 meals you have to make in your own kitchen okay <laughs> um so I, I just was like wow it it's not like this big change we have to make let's just make the right decision our next decision that's that's super smart let's just like rose eat the chocolate eat the chocolate eat the chocolate, eat the chocolate. so good be kind yeah well, and I mean, especially like in times like these, you know, when you're cooped up with your wife in a truck all morning and you got to drive around. <laughs> what? A, it's really about. Oh, oh, I just got hand sanitizer all over. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Hey, I'll wipe it up with That's your mask. That's what I'm saying. That's what if I'm I saying. Wipe it up with your it's mask. A, it's a heavy burden I carry. <laughs> It's a heavy burden I carry around listen, here. Listen, the crown of England, the crown, the queen, she has a very heavy crown because of the burden of leadership. And so sometimes a burden is a good thing, baby. You are my crown? Well, I don't know what the metaphor was. I, all, I don't know. I, I, all I know, oh. are, <laughs> that was literally a bird just flew and landed on our hood and she thought it was no. a pterodactyl. Or yeah, now pterodactyl I, is that a, is that the one <laughs> like from the the Jurassic Park <laughs> no, movies? I keep touching my. Have okay, I haven't been out yet. Have you guys noticed that? Um, have you guys noticed that? Uh, <laughs> what is that for? 
I'm just getting ready, so I look okay. Where are you gonna go? She's gonna. Hi, oh, Joy. <laughs> Paul says it's lonely at the top. So glad I'm not a nurse. Praise God for our yeah, nurses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, praise God for our nurses, for Doctors, sure. Everybody. Yeah. I mean, honestly, everybody. the phone praise calls. Praise God for everybody. <laughs> the phone calls I had last night, though, with business people yeah. and people that have been, I mean, I call a couple people and they're laid off. They've been laid off for six weeks. Yeah. And honestly, their attitudes were phenomenal. Like, hey. Yeah, He's I don't. Got an easy life with me. Come on, people, take care of him. <laughs> Shannon's like, you got yeah. this, Jeff. <laughs> you can do it. You can do. It. I'll tell you what I can't do. Welcome. I cannot. I cannot do. Mom, help. I, I cannot do these large. I don't know Mustaches. rodents growing above my well, eyes. Now they're like squirrels. <laughs> they are. Like one, yeah. Like I kept trying to push these ones out of the way oh yesterday, and they just kept coming back like a slinky. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Anyway, I bet I, you if you put hand sanitizer on the slick them right now. I don't think that'd be smart. But um, my the what she just spit spit monster energy drink out her nose. <laughs> That's what's happening here. I'm gonna let's just put the Stop camera it. on her. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. What am I? No. What I'm saying is, is I'm saying that um, everybody I'm talking to, like people, like I talked Jason to one guy. Somebody, his eyebrows are bad too. He lost his just, job you know. six weeks ago, and he's like, oh. I'm just using it to connect with my kids. Like the family time has been amazing. Like yeah. everybody, you guys, you guys are troopers, man. You're. Attitudes are great. People are winning. I, I'm telling you, we're gonna come out of this. We ain't gonna smell like smoke. Rachel, I can't wait until we get back together. <gasps> it's gonna be like a that, reunion. Like every service. Yeah, it's put gonna be a reunion. On. That's right. Paul says, put that mask on, babe. You got to wear it. Okay, there's mine. <laughs> what are you doing to me? I don't know how to. Okay. There, yeah, there it is. I don't know. Diane Breen. Diane Breen made this for me. Yep. The problem is it doesn't match my eyebrow. <laughs> Singular eyebrow. Sorry. Diane, anyway. I'm very grateful. <laughs> I also heard a, um, a quote that said, gratitude unexpressed is just a feeling. You have to express it. So oh, Diane, yes. Diane, thank you. We're so grateful for the masks. <laughs> I'm sorry. You see what's Hi. happening right now? Okay, okay hold on. Okay. While we're sitting here at the gas station, we're at a truck stop. While we're sitting here, we've actually burned two miles of fuel. So, so eventually, we yeah, we almost didn't make it. No. Okay. When I started from the house, it said we had 76 miles till empty. Five miles later, it said we had 36 miles till empty. We don't want to clearly. Hear that. Um, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Remember the time I called to hurt you in the middle of the night and I had zero miles to empty and I was freaking out three miles. Dressed. I was three miles from the exit and it was one AM in the well, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Come in off fumes. Clearly I need to be in charge of the fueling. The fueling. All right. I and mean, your dad said his parting words from, from yeah. this earth. I mean, it's party was, almost, but he did say one of our final conversations. Yes, get below what a quarter of a tank, three quarters of a what, tank. And why did he say that? Because you never know if there's a national disaster and you gotta get somewhere. Aliens coming, whatever it is. He didn't say aliens, but you know, he pretty he much did. My dad loved those end of the world <laughs> movies, you know, like like, like day after tomorrow when the vortex opens up and sucks the hot air out and. We go back into the ice age. My dad loved movies like that. Okay. Well, he said that all the time. It clearly, you're not carrying on the legacy. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. okay. Well, pray for some folks or somebody. See, Rachel remembers. Oh, Always keep, keep at least a quarter take. I remember. It's truth. Thank Paul you. Jerome, quarter take. Thank everybody, you. everybody that was fathered my, by my Dan, dad. Master Dan. Yeah. Everybody that was fathered by my dad knows the quarter tank rule. Oh, my I'm gosh. Everyone that knows him. He's done it all the time. <laughs> he did pretty much all the time. 
Oh gosh. Anyway. Just say yes, dear. Clearly, those uh, are the parting clearly words. Clearly, that's my grandfather. Yes, dear. That is yes, dear. That is the parting words, of my grandfather, legacy. for sure. Let's talk about legacy this morning. Yeah. No. Our, let's <laughs> pray for some okay. people. Okay. All right, y'all. Get up. <laughs> right, Rachel. I got gotcha. you. I opened my gas tank one time and it went. Psh- and like steam came out because it was so low. Honey, I don't think you should say that. Oh, it happened. It's terrible. Okay, let's pray because we're babbling. I made now. it. Babbling. I made it. Hey, go do something for yourself today, would you? Come on now. Uh, those of you joining us, like we're taking a Melinda's horse. Got she's lame, and uh, off and on. So we're taking her to the doctor this morning. Got there's a really good doctor, and he's really hard to get into, and so we gotta head that direction. But um, anyway, we'll we'll pray for see me. Her name is You'll Be Seeing Me. Yeah. I'm like, you'll be seeing me at the vet. Anyway. No, all right. she is fantastic. Yeah. Healed so, in Jesus' name. All right. Let's Father, pray. we thank you, Lord, for, thank you. Lord, health. Lord, we, we thank you, God, for provision. Lord, we thank you, God, for blessing, God. And, Lord, we just pray, God, in this time, God, that we redeem it, God, the best that we can, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Do something for yourself today. Redeem the time. Go out. Go for a walk. Get outside. Do something. And uh, recharge those batteries. So does that mean I should always keep a quarter of my battery left? Yes, always. You have a cell phone charger, right? You can push it. if You have. You just plug it in, right? He's got an electric <laughs> All right. Thank you. All Thank right, you. y'all. Be blessed. Do something for yourself today. We love you. Wait, we gotta pray for healing. We gotta, we gotta be, we gotta be sincere here. I mean, we gotta be for real. I am for reals. I mean, not for reals, but we can't forget to pray for healing. We did. Jesus. Oh, okay. Did. Oh, Go I wasn't ahead. listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Clearly, I was thinking of something else. <laughs> this is a tough burden to bear. I'm telling you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Did you see last night? People were putting on their wedding dress and renewing their vows. Yes, Pastor Carrie Jennings, she posted a picture of her in her wedding dress, renewing her vows last night with Brian. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Where's your wedding dress? Mm, not going to happen. <laughs> it was hanging up like in the race shop or something and it's, yeah, we didn't, we were, we were too young. We didn't have We're too young. We didn't have the money box to it box it up. So, yeah, we put it in the garbage bag. We did. That's how no, we stored it. we didn't. It. We had the little thingy, <clears throat> the little dress bag. And then it went in the garbage bag. Anyway, who knows? All right, y'all. Love you. Care about the dress. <laughs> Can you marry people online? You know, I actually thought about yes. that because I got a couple people that are, um, <clears throat> I, saw I got a couple weddings coming up and I was like, you know what? We might have to do online weddings. That'd be fun. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah. I guess we can figure that out. All right, y'all. Love you. Have a fantastic Saturday. Take care.